Hi guys, this is Sadek from Droidwin.com and in this video, we'll show you how to extract or decrypt the OnePlus OPS firmware. So as you might be aware, with the MSM download tool, there comes an unbreak firmware which is in the form of OPS as you could see from here. So the MSM tool simply flashes this firmware. In some cases, you might want to extract the firmware and get hold of the file. For example, if you want the programmable Firehouse MBN or ELF ELF files apart from that if you want the boot IMG file for routing purpose or all such files then you may easily extract this OPS file using Python and a few commands and in this video we'll show you how to do just that so let's get started first and foremost you will have to install Python on your PC so go to his official site and then get hold of the latest build at the time of recording it's 312.2 as you could see so download it from here and now let's install Python onto our PC so let me access the python exe file this is the exe file launch it and please make sure to check mark add python to path this is extremely important so check mark this and now click on install now likewise keep a note of the location where you are installing python so in my case i'm using the de default location which is the c user sadik app data local programs python and python version you may also change the location if you want but i'm going ahead with the default location so choose it and make sure that you have check mark add python to path and then click on install now it will now install python and will take only a few seconds so let's just wait for that to happen and then we'll verify it once as well if python has been installed or not so as i have told you in my case i'm using the default location so the default is this one see users app name username app data local so let's access this location as well first off let me see once the python has been installed again make sure to click on disable path length limit this is also extremely important otherwise anything over the 260 character mark will not be allowed so click on disable path limit as well you will get an prompt hit the yes button and with this python has now been installed so let me just verify the same ones so it will take only a few seconds see users username app data so i will recommend you to verify the same as well user the app data is hidden you will have to go to view show and then select hidden items and then you will get the app data from here select local then you will have to select programs and then you could see we have got the python 312 it's the latest version which we have installed and this will be our working directory so make sure you are inside the python installation directory once that is done let's now move ahead so next up you will have to get hold of the oneplus ops firmware this comes with the msm tool itself so you could refer to my guide i have linked the guide of the oneplus msm tool and get hold of the msm tool from here corresponding to your phone so download the msm tool and once you have got the msm tool simply extract them onto your pc upon extraction you will get all these files so as of now we just have to use the ops file so copy this ops file from here and transfer it inside the python directory it will take a few seconds to complete or rather a few minutes depending on the speed so the file is usually around 4 to 5 gb in size so while the file is being copied let's now move ahead with the next step so once we have transferred the ops firmware your next course of action is now to get hold of the OPS decrypt tool. This is an open source tool whose source code you could also verify from GitHub. As you could see, this is the tool. So now you will have to download the tool from here or you could also use the direct link. I've given a direct link as well. So get hold of the tool and extract them onto your PC. So this is the OPPO tool, decrypt tool, which we, which we have got. So you have to extract it as well so let me do the extraction of this tool so select extract all and click on extract and it will now be extracted once the extraction is done you will now have to copy all these files from the extracted oppo decrypt master so copy all this file and you will now have to transfer them to the python working directory so let's transfer them here so with this we have done the transfer of all the files of the oppo decrypt tool apart from that also make sure that you have transferred the OPS firmware as well for the ease of convenience let's rename the file to something shorter so let's just rename it to oneplus and the complete name becomes oneplus.ops so with this we are done with this step as well so we have 
in solved python we got hold of the oneplus ops firmware and now we have transferred the ops firmware inside the python directory then we got hold of the ops decrypt tool as well and now we have extracted it inside the same folder where we have python so we could now proceed ahead and extract the ops firmware using python so for that we first and foremost have to install a few requirements so all you have to do is simply type in cmd in the address bar of this folder where you have python and hit enter and as you could see we have opened command prompt inside python now you just have to paste the first command and it will install the required dependencies which will take up to a few seconds or a few minutes do keep in mind that if this command is not working then you may also use the command so in this case you don't have to use the python dash m Sim simply use the pip3 command and then try installing the requirements and this will get the job done but in most cases this command should work without any issues anyways moving on as you could see we have installed all the dependency now you could easily extract the ops firmware so simply copy paste this command do know that this is the name of the file if you have named something else then make sure to change the command here in our case we have named this at oneplus.ops is the extension so simply copy this command and paste it in the cmd window and hit enter and it will now start extracting all the files as you could see the first is the programmable firehouse light file then the ddr elf file and it will extract all the partition file the super img file is of the maximum size it will take maximum amount of time so guys as you could see the extraction is now complete and you will get a done message once the extraction is done you will have to go to, to the same folder where you have extracted <laughs> python and inside that folder you should see a folder name as extract so let me show you so this is the folder name extract inside the python directory so simply go to this folder and as you could see we have got all the files extracted from the ops firmware you could then use this file as per your convenience and as you could see we have all the file this is the boot img file apart from that we have all the this is the modem file and this is the super empty img super img file which you could flash in the fastboot d mode and this is the vb meta file and all the files you have inside this folder so you could now use them as per your convenience and get the job done so guys on that note we round off this video if you have any queries do let us know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching